Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Tutor and in this video I will show you how to design RCC stair uh, manually using this excel sheet. So I have already uploaded a video for the design of the stair uh, as a theory part so you can refer that video for any extra reference. In this video I will just show you how to use this excel sheet for the design. So in this excel sheet you have to just enter the value for this the highlighted cell only. So for now we are considering this architect drawing for the stair design. So this is the stair, we have landing, this is a flight and this is again the mid landing and we will design uh, for one flight and that will be considered for the other flight as well. So for the grade of concrete let us assume 20 Newton per mm square. Similarly, similarly grade of steel we will consider Fe 500. Trade, so you can get this from the architect drawing. So it is 11 inches, so let me convert this. 0 11 so this is 0 0.28 for the riser let us assume this as 0.16 uh, this is computed on the basis of the riser and tread thickness of waste slab so for now let us start with 0 0.15 that is 150 mm thick 6 inches so basically width of landing so that is basically the width of the flight 3 feet 2 inches so 3 feet 2 inches this gives as 0 0.96 length of front landing so from the center of the beam so this comes as 2 feet 10 inches 2 10 so this comes as 0 0.86 length of the mid flight so this is the length of the mid flight 6 feet 5 inches this comes as 1.955 and finally length of the end landing three feet three inches point nine nine so there is a diagrammatic uh, representation as well so 0 0.86 for the first landing for the flight it is 1.96 and for the mid landing it is 0 0.99 now on the basis of these parameters the dead load is computed for the flight so this is the dead load of the inclined flight and this is the dead load of the landing slab and floor finish let us assume as 1.5 and live load as 3 kN per meter square this is for the residential building so total load of landing this comes as 8.25 addition of this 3 and similarly factored load for the landing so 1.5 times of this load and total load on flight this is 10.82 and factor load will be 15.66 so this is for the landing this is for the flight and as per the length now we have to compute the reaction at the either end considering this as a simply supported so reaction at a and reaction at b this is computed now we have to compute the maximum moment and the maximum moment uh, occurs at the point of zero shear so for maximum moment let us consider a point of zero shear from a at distance x so let us assume the point lies over here so that will be at point distance x so the value of x is simply 1.89 meter so this is the value of x and now maximum bending moment considering this point will get 22.06 kN meter and from the equation that we have 0.131 FCK BD square so this is for FE 500 so we get the effective depth as 93 mm so the overall depth that will be effective depth plus size of the bar divided by 2 plus clear cover this comes as 114 mm and the provided depth is 150 mm so it is okay we can also go for a smaller size for, for now let us put this as 6 inches that is 150 mm and effective depth will be 129 mm that is also okay now area of steel required so considering this moment and the parameters such as concrete con grade steel grade depth of the slab we get area of steel as 430 mm square per meter to satisfy this reinforcement requirement let us assume the bar size as 12 mm and the spacing of the bar as 150 mm then area of rebar provided will be 791 mm square per meter which is greater than that of the required one so the flexural design is safe now let us check for the shear percentage of tensile steel 
so considering this reinforcement and the cross section area we'll get 0.61 as the percentage of steel and shear strength of concrete depending upon this percentage of steel we can simply compute the sh shear strength of concrete using this code uh, clause from the code sp16 substitute the value here and we get 0.52 newton per mm square now shear strength coefficient for slab so this is from the clause is456 2000 from the clause 40.2 so the shear strength for concrete can be multiplied by this value that is k for a slab section less than 150 or less we can multiply the uh, design shear strength by 1.3 so shear strength of concrete will be 0.68 newton per mm square and maximum shear strength of concrete considering m20 grade the maximum shear stress is 2.8 newton per mm square so it is also okay nominal shear stress 0.21 so it is less than the shear strength of concrete and maximum shear strength of or shear stress of concrete so it is also safe that is check for shear is also done finally check for deflection this is from the is456 clause uh, 23.2 so using this equation and considering all the coefficient that is alpha beta gamma will get the deflection value so effective span that is basically equal to summation of these three lengths so we get 3805 mm effective depth is 129 mm and mubd squares uh, mf this comes as 1.7 considering these parameters now modification factor alpha as 20 for simply supported modification beta for a span less than 10 meter it will be 1 and for tension reinforcement gamma this is 1.57 from this graph and calculated depth this is span divided by effective depth and allowable this is alpha beta gamma delta so 20 into 1 into 1.57 so this is also safe now final temperature reinforcement will just provide the nominal reinforcement which is 0.12 percent of bd this comes as 180 mm square so size of bar provided as 10 spacing required will be 436 mm so providing as 150 mm finally provide 10 mm bar at 150 mm spacing as the distribution bar and we also will provide a uh, 10 mm bar as temperature reinforcement in each risers as a steps so finally area of steel provided as distribution reinforcement 550 mm square that is okay so finally the, we have the summary as grade of concrete m20 grade of steel as fe 500 and we'll be providing 150 mm thick slab with 12 mm rebar at 150 mm center to center spacing as main bar and 10 mm bar as distribution bar at 150 mm center to center as the distribution bar 10 mm bar so after the design is completed simply we'll copy this by clicking on this button and we'll paste it in the report so design of staircase right click over here and paste this so the report for the structural design of the staircase is done I hope this video helped you and if it did help do like and comment in the video and share with your friends subscribe our channel and if you want this excel sheet just click on the link in the description box and request for the access and you will get a mail from us thank you